Welcome to the PVW Law Video Library. In this video, we will be discussing a type of pre-made business known as the franchise and whether purchasing a franchise is the right business decision for you. When you buy a franchise, you buy a right or license from a company to market its products or services in a specific territory in exchange for royalties in giving the franchisor significant control over your business. Burger Kings are franchises. Jimmy John's are franchises. The advantage of buying a franchise is that you buy a business name, a mentor, a business system, and a business partner. The franchisor provides you with a pre-built business. A good franchise, in a good location, can be one of the most successful businesses available to a new business owner. When you buy a franchise, you will enter into a franchise agreement. The franchise agreement will control your relationship with the franchisor. The law provides certain special protections to those buying franchises that apply regardless of the franchise agreement. Franchises are not forever. The franchise agreement will state how long you will own the franchise. You need to make sure you understand your rights to renew and factor in the length of ownership when determining the potential return on your investment. When considering the purchase of a franchise, it is important to know the true cost of the franchise. Cost will include an upfront franchise fee. This is an amount that you pay at commencement for the right to open the franchise business. You will likely pay the franchisor a royalty on your sales. In addition, costs may include paying a share of franchisor marketing expenses and required training costs. You also may be required to refresh your business at certain times, which could be a significant cost. You may have to purchase your advertising, raw materials, construction, inventory, or finished products and services from the franchisor or a vendor selected by the franchisor. Franchisors make these requirements to ensure brand consistency, but sometimes the costs may be higher than what you would ordinarily incur. Another consideration in buying a franchise is the degree of control which you will have over your business. It is very common for the franchisor to have the right to approve your business location, construction companies you utilize, advertising, the name of any company you form to own the business, types of customers you can solicit, pricing, products, vendors, and business plans, and the franchisor will often provide required training. The franchisor will almost always control the look and feel of your business and require consistent branding. Because you are buying an established brand, you will have little say over how that brand will develop. The control exercised by a franchisor is usually not direct. That is, the franchisor will not send a person to run your business. However, the involvement of the franchisor is the reason that many new business owners choose this format. The success rate of the franchise exceeds that of other startup businesses. While you may not want to think about the day that you are no longer operating your business, you should consider an exit strategy at the time you buy a franchise. Most franchise agreements require you to continue the franchise for a long time. The typical end to a franchise is the franchise owner selling the business. If you want to get out of your business before the end of the franchise term, there may be substantial fees to pay. Even if your business fails and you have to close, it is possible that you still will owe money to the franchisor. Once you end your franchise relationship, you ordinarily are prohibited from starting another business that would compete with the franchise. This means that you typically cannot stop running a franchise hamburger restaurant and then immediately start a new hamburger restaurant. This prohibition could be two or more years. For more information on franchising, please refer to our tax and business law blog or other client resources at pvwlaw.com. If you would like to initiate a consultation regarding the purchase of a franchise, you may email us from the Contact Us tab of our website. A tax and business law attorney from Parsonage Vandenack Williams LLC will respond to your request.